So I don't know how many of you remember, but there was a guy called George Floyd and he died. There have been some protests about it. Some people were mad. I don't know. Now, I have had no coverage whatsoever of this incident in my channel. Um, so there's no chance whatsoever of any of you being tired of this subject. So I feel free to go on ahead and talk about the newest information we're working with here. See, George Floyd was a guy. Uh, he was a black guy. And he died to the police. And the people who killed him have been arrested and charged with, in the case of his murderer, second-degree murder, in the case of the other people there, accomplice to second-degree murder. Um, and here's what we know about his death. We know that George Floyd was... This is what we knew two days ago. We know that George Floyd was on drugs at the time of his death. We know that he was um, uh, approached initially for... Um, after the police had been called uh, uh, on the suspicion that he was using counterfeit currency. And we know that he died from a knee being put on the back of his neck for nine minutes. We have an autopsy report on George Floyd. We know for a fact that he died of asphyxiation. And none of these facts have changed in between the point two months ago when, we, when they were revealed to us and uh, this point now today. But body cam footage from the cop who murdered George Floyd was recently leaked by somebody in the media. We don't know who their sources are. Oh, and don't worry, we won't be going over all the graphic bits. Body cam footage. I'm gonna have to turn that away there. As you can see, somebody is shakily recording the body cam footage on a police station um, display monitor. Stay in the car. Let I'm me see your other hand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me see your other hand. Please, 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 both hands. Put your hands up right now. Let me see your other So, first of all, uh, our cop draws a firearm on George Floyd, who has both of his hands visible and has not presented any threat whatsoever uh, to, um, uh, to the officers. So, just right, right off the bat. Hand. Floyd's hands are both visible. There's literally no indication that this individual uh, has any capacity to commit harm. Put your hand up there. Put your hand up there. Now, when it bleeps out like that, it's because they're cursing. Because this was released to a news outlet. Um, now, uh... Wheel. Put your hands on the wheel. I'm sorry, sir. Guns still trained on him. Man, I got, I got shot the same way as I was before. Okay, well, when I say let me I'm see sorry. your hands, you put your hands up. Man, I'm so sorry, man. You got him? Put your hands on top of your head. Hands on top of your head. Hands on top of your head. Remember that old, remember that old, uh, uh, the old joke about police officers in America? Um, anytime you meet a, 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 a police officer in America, you get to play a deadly game of Simon Says, and if you fuck up, you die. That's, that's the, uh, that's the American dream right there. You gotta, uh, right, right hand, uh, Simon Says, right hand up in your head, left hand, uh, down by your pocket. So funny. Yeah, it's, it is funny. Yeah, it's very funny. It's fucking hysterical, as a matter of fact, that there are people justifying this, and we're going to get to that. Step out of the vehicle and step away. Now, George Floyd is on fentanyl uh, at this point. I forget the exact amount. Six, six, 16 parts. I, I forget the exact amount. Um, but uh, this, um, this interaction goes on for some time. And I'll, I'll summarize it for you. It doesn't get any happier with time. Um, they uh, pull George Floyd out. Body cam footage, very good cinematography here. 
and uh, there are just some random other onlookers and so on and so forth, and go through. And then we get uh, the uh, uh, him. Cuff. Okay, man. God, y'all do me bad, man. Man, I don't, I don't want to try to win. I don't want to try to win. I don't want to win. I've got the bobby. They're trying to put him in the police car, and then they put him. I can't breathe. On the yep, and that's the last thing we get to hear from this audio. I'm back over, man. I can't breathe. And they spared us watching the the knee cam for nine minutes, uh, as it, as it so stands. So. I know what you're all thinking, it's terrible. Well, this is a great day for conservatives because every single conservative online has now declared that George Floyd's death was justified and that uh, the protests were for nothing based on a media hoax. Let's take a look at some comments. 30 people and counting have died over a lie. That's in reference to the protests. Remember that the only reason we get to see this footage is because some hero leaked it. What a joke the media is. Also, the video description is so trash. That is because the video description is sympathetic to George Floyd. Floyd was a criminal who resisted arrest. Changed my mind. Dude is saying, I can't breathe before any officer touches him. Let's give praise the heroes that leaked the footage. That one's kind of neutral, I guess. I'm not that kind of guy, said every criminal ever. ever. Remember... The police approached him on suspicion that he used a counterfeit $20 bill and drew a gun on him uh, before he did anything. Better save this before the YouTube Gestapo take it down. There are a lot of comments like that, like, ooh, everyone's going to delete this, you know, because they're trying to hide the truth. The fact that it's not on the trending page is unbelievably... Yeah, I wonder why shaky video cam footage of a body cam that was leaked right before somebody was murdered wouldn't be on the trending page of YouTube. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm, gi I'm giving it a think right now. I wonder what other reasons there might be for YouTube not wanting that there. So basically, the cops were doing their jobs normally and tried to compromise with George peacefully, and George was being an irrational idiot who refused to put his hands up. Literally, you get to play, Simon says, and if you fuck up, uh, you die. Prosecution might have a tough time proving their case after they show this. There are a lot of people saying this means that the cops will be exonerated. BLM, after watching this video, truth is a white construct. Good. He's acting a fool. If he just sat down in the car, he'd still be alive. Quick, YouTube, shut it down. It doesn't fit the narrative. That's pretty much everything. There are concern Here, I haven't actually seen myself, but I bet you... Tim Pool. Or wait, it's Tim Timcast is the name of the For those that aren't familiar George Floyd body camera footage yesterday. leaked. This will probably exonerate the officers by casting doubt. There we go. Yep. Don't have to don't have to work too hard to guess that one. It's pretty obvious what these people are going to immediately uh here, in fact we can just say George Floyd. Who's covering this? What are what are our opinions? These are all regular news site things. Do we have any YouTuber opinions on this particular subject? What if we go by size? Filter. Uh, view count. Filter. This week. Ah, Anthony Brian Logan. George Floyd body cam video of arrest released reaction. This is the future of conservative content, people. Oh, you get videos of black people being murdered and you do live reacts to them. It's like a fine bros kind of thing. This is, um, uh, this guy, Anth uh, Anthony Brian Logan, by the way, uh, this guy said that the KKK wasn't all that bad because they gave his parents, this guy's like the definition of an uncle Tom. Um, he, he doesn't give a fuck about black people. He probably gets off on it. He wants being, he likes being like the one good one. Um, yeah, here's the Tim cast one, of course. Let's see any further down. The Young Turks, well, they're probably, you know, not being quite as, uh, quite as down on it. And we're only working within the past couple of hours, too, the past day or so. Uh, give it another week, and um, there will be uh, far more conservative videos on this subject, all essentially saying the, the same thing. The reason this thing. comes up is because yesterday the Daily Mail leaked more of the tape from the George Floyd arrest. 
like the minutes leading up to the the eight minute tape that we've all seen, that horrible tape of Derek Chauvin kneeling on George Floyd's neck. Okay, the media should have covered this responsibly from the beginning by including all the details because maybe that would have led to a non overcharge. And there are a few. The media didn't have access to the body tapes to begin with. What the fuck are you talking about? The me wait, what do you mean the media should have covered it responsibly? The the media didn't have the 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 body cam footage. And then you have all the people down here justifying it. So let's go over the really quick argument, shall we? So here are the reasons why they are now saying that George Floyd's death was justified. Um, a, uh, George Floyd uh, did not play Simon Says Good, to which the answer is, it is true that George Floyd did indeed not play Simon Says That Good. Um, that is true. Uh, he was on uh, fentanyl uh, at that time, which definitely impaired his judgment. He's very agitated. He's very confused in the presence of the police, um, which isn't good, of course. Uh, but being agitated and being confused does not sign your death warrant. Uh, most of the stuff the conservatives say now justified his death, most of that stuff um, happened completely independent of the cop's knee being on his neck. See, that's the funny thing. You have, let's bring up paint here. You have two separate videos now. Um, you have the original video that everyone saw. No, come on now. The, you have the original video everyone saw that covers this length of time right here. It's about, about eight to nine minutes. That covers the knee on the neck, the death of George Floyd, um, his limp body being dragged off, what have you. And then now, thanks to the body cam, we have uh, a video on the eight or so minutes leading up to that. And the wonderful thing is, and this is the fantastic thing, at no point did George Floyd attack or pose any meaningful threat to any of the police officers. And additionally, none of the context provided here in this new video gives any justification to the use of the knee on the back of the neck in this video. Now here's what is shown in this video. George Floyd is agitated and confused and not very good at playing Simon Says. That is true. Um, it is also shown that George Floyd claimed that he could not breathe before a knee was placed on his neck, um, which totally justifies his death, you know, in the same way that if you complain about a stomach pain at one point, and then later, after somebody shoots you in the gut, you complain about a stomach pain again. Uh, it invalidates the second complaint uh, because you said it earlier at one point. You know how it is with these cops. It's uh, all boy who cried wolf. Uh, you know, you complain uh, about discomfort at one point, and then they, then if you get murdered, I mean, you you should have should have set your standards a little bit higher for what constitutes not being able to breathe. It seemed like he was having an anxiety attack uh, over the course of this footage. Uh, we don't get to see that in this footage, because in this footage, he is in the middle of being murdered by a cop who has been arrested for murder. So, I have seen conservatives of every flavor now take this opportunity to say essentially three things. One, that the media is bad which is a nonsensical claim because the media didn't have access to the body cam footage right away. So I don't know how its existence has anything to do with their coverage. B, that uh, the BLM riots were uh, predicated on a lie, the idea that George Floyd didn't deserve to die, so they're implicitly saying he did, and C, that George Floyd deserved to die. Um... And this comes in a variety of flavors. They will talk about how because he said he couldn't breathe before, that means that his later claim was irrelevant. They will say that he died of having fentanyl in his system, in spite of the fact that the autopsy indicated that no, he didn't die of having uh, fentanyl in his system. That's just factually wrong, but you'll find conservatives saying it anyway. Um, you'll find conservatives saying that because he played Simon Says poorly, he then deserved to be murdered. It's a pretty common one. I think the most interesting thing, though, is the fact that the, 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 the process of moving him to the ground and then putting the officer's knee on his neck had nothing to do 
with any of his misbehavior. See, you can justify a police shooting or a police killing in a strenuous moment. Like, for example, if George Floyd had busted out of the car and attacked the officer, I still think there are ways to resolve that non-lethally, but conceivably if that had happened, and the officer had shot him. Okay, now did, did George Floyd deserve to die there? Not necessarily, but was there a reasonable excuse for the police officer to use lethal force? In that hypothetical, then certainly, yeah. But in this case, George Floyd basically complied with being placed down onto the ground. I mean, he was, he was wiggly, he was agitated, but he was not fighting. Nothing that he did warranted the exertion of force that uh, was then used to murder him. So, in essence, all this new body cam footage does is introduce the fact that the police officer who has been charged with murder drew a firearm on George Floyd before there was any reason to do so. That's the only relevant new information. Because I live in the United States of goddamn America. I do not live in a country where cops get to murder me for not playing a Simon Says Well, for being agitated, for being discombobulated, or fuck it, for being on drugs, or for being a porn star, or for whatever crimes I may have committed in the past. In this country, cops get to kill me for one reason and one reason only. And that is if they think I'm about to kill them. And even then, they have to work to justify that. Or kill someone else, you know. Heated moment. Heated gamer police moment. George Floyd did not at any point do that to any of the... Or if you're black, yes, obviously. I'm saying what America should be. Not that America's not racist. Thank you. Um, the, um, the only real lesson that we can take from this is that... Um, a, the cop who murdered him is bad. Surprise. And B, conservatives love uh, black corpses. They love it. They love it. They love the taste, the smell. Um, Tim Pool, Ben Shapiro, Anthony Brian Logan, they could, just, they could just envision, they could dream about rolling around on a pile of black corpses with their tongue out and their hands, fingers splayed so they can get their fingers everywhere. Um, that is the only explanation that I can think of, because these people just love to revel in the death of black Americans. It is unbefucking leavable I mean, Tim Pool was also going on and on about the Ahmad Arbery stuff. You'll notice that Tim Pool didn't cover any of the court proceedings of the Ahmad Arbery case, which showed that A, Ahmad Arbery, had, there was no, le there was, like, uh, as of this moment, there was no reason to believe that he carried a hammer or that he deserved to be killed, and the racial epithets that were used before and after the murder of Ahmad Arbery by his murderers didn't cover any of that, you know. But he did cover grainy video footage of somebody who may or may not have been Ahmad Arbery at some point entering a construction site at some point in the recent past. Ver news. Big news, you know. Conservatives just like dead black people. And this is why... Um, and this is why I say, and I've always said, that the removal of conservative opinions from our society is a war of self-defense for, um, for the people in this country who are staring down the barrel of their guns. Uh, it is a war that they must win so that we can all live together in an equal society. Uh, and it is a war that our enemies must lose because they would see you dead. It's that simple. There's no two ways around it. This video, this new video on George Floyd, did not at any point provide anything even approximating a justification for his murder, and yet they are treating it as though it had. And they gaslight you about it too, but they were the first time too. When it was just the first video? Two months ago? They justified that too before the BLM protests came out and they were very, very popular and everyone sort of quieted down. I remember, you can't make me forget, all the conservative demagogues who, as soon as it happened, they were like, ah, whatever, George Floyd, whatever, he deserved to die, it was drugs, whatever. But then, as mainstream opinion marched on without them, they changed their tune. We're not saying he deserved to die. We're just saying that protesting it and rioting and burning down buildings doesn't solve anything. We didn't, we, we, we didn't say that he deserved to die. 
Just that he was a porn star and a thug who killed people and he was no angel. And, you know, but we didn't say it. If you're watching this and you're black, they want you dead. If you're watching this and you are trans, they want you dead. If you're watching this and you're gay, bi or pan, they want you dead. If you're watching this and you're a woman, the only reason they don't want you dead is because they want to use your body and produce children through it. And that's the only reason. They find you attractive. You're a nice object for them to look at. And that's it.